some here today, Lord, who need to make a decision as they see those who stand before them and write who have already made that decision. They need to look at them and see Jesus and prepare their hearts to receive you into them, Lord. It's not a matter of doubt nor fear, but it's a matter of need. We all need Jesus right here, right now. And no one should be in doubt that you can save from the guttermost to the uttermost because that's why you went to the cross, that we might be saved who believe and trust in you. So if there is one under the sound of my voice who has purposed in his heart that he would give his life to Jesus, when the call is made, let them not be afraid, but walk with the Holy Spirit. Send angels to guide and direct them, Lord. Cast out the demons that stand to bar their way. Cast out self that they won't get in their way. Lord, it is time for those who have not a relationship, those who do not know Jesus as their personal Savior, this is their day. This is the first day of the rest of their lives. This is the day that the Lord has made for them to come and give themselves to him. So Lord, use your man, sir. Use him today, Lord. Give him the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, that the words of his mouth and the meditations of his heart would be more than acceptable in thy sight, but that they would move men, women, and children to come forward and give their lives to Jesus. We're thinking about a hurricane named Sandy. But Lord, there's something even worse than Sandy. And that is that a man would lose his soul because he feared to make a stand for Jesus. So help them, Lord, whoever they may be, wherever they may be standing or sitting, help them, Lord, to dedicate surrender their life to Jesus today. I surrender to thee in Jesus' name.